guys welcome back to my channel today I will be doing my dewy foundation routine for oily skin I am using tons of drugstore products I've got probably about two or three different high-end product high-end products nothing too crazy but makeup forever I've got that's about it for high-end so I've always wanted to do a foundation routine so this is the first one that I'm doing this is one that I like to do when I want to have a more dewy natural sun-kissed glowy goddess look you know what I'm saying if you're new here what you better do listen I'm gonna just tell you right now you better hit that subscribe button or it's gonna be on I'm just saying like I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna click it for you so if you don't want these problems or these hands might as well just click subscribe now and everything will be good you know while you're down there click and subscribe please follow me on instagram and snapchat and twitter i really hope that you guys enjoyed the video or tell me some of the products that you use and yes that's about it i'm dancing tonight for some strange reason i don't know thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for coming back and if you're new thank you for joining and i will see you guys in my next video bye this is my natural hair you guys like this is my hair when it's doing what it wants to do and it's just being like god made it like it's crazy recently i have been loving the nyx tea tree balance skin elixir you guys saw me use this i think i've used this like twice or three times and i have just been absolutely loving this product you can definitely expect to see it in a favorites video definitely just put this on in the morning time and just go out the door next we're going to focus on these pores tell me if you hate this or if you love it like i repurchased this on a whim and i was like why did i stop using this product i'm going to be taking the maybelline baby skin i didn't even say the product oh my gosh i'm all over the place you guys it's like two o'clock in the morning i don't put this all over my face anymore i used to um well, I mean, I still do sometimes, but recently I haven't been putting it all over my face. I just kind of put it on my cheeks because that's where I have lots of texture. I put a little on my chin, on my nose, and here. I don't like to go too thick with this product. I do like to take it really thin on the face and really work it in. Now we're going to move on to some facial sprays. I will be using the new Garnier skin active soothing facial mist i love this stuff the mister is pretty aggressive but i still like the way that it feels on my face it does take a lot to you know kind of get it all over your face because the mister is like pretty like it's not wide but i still like it and also as you guys know I have been absolutely obsessed with the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist. Really been loving this, and this has like the world's best mister. So I'm definitely gonna drench myself in this. It feels so good on the skin, especially since it's been cold. Like when it hits my face, it just wakes my face up. I think I look more alive once I use it, and the mister is amazing. So now we're gonna move on to foundation. I'm going to be mixing two of my favorite dewy skin foundations. One I have been loving for quite some time. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir and the Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. This one's too dark, this one's pretty perfect, so mixing them together gives me like the perfect combination for color. What am I trying to say? What am I doing with my life? Two and a half pumps of the elixir. Do you see how dark it is? Like it's really dark. And then I take a big pour of the Dewy and Smooth. Once again, the Dewy and Smooth I haven't had for long, but oh my gosh, I have been using it nonstop. So I've got it all mixed up on my hand. And I'm just going to, like it literally gives me the perfect color. Now when I'm doing a dewy look, I don't like to use sponges. Um, I will sometimes, but most of the time I don't because I already have all the facial sprays on. I already have on the primers, all that stuff. So I don't really need any extra moisture at this time. I will be using my e.l.f. Um, ultimate blending brush that is dirty that needs to be washed but this is one of my favorite brushes to blend out foundation and I'm just going to blend that foundation in okay so for concealer of course we're going to be using the LA Pro 
the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Medium Beige. One of my favorites, if not my absolute favorite. So I'm just going to throw my concealer on my face. Just like normal. And like I said the other day, I've been letting my concealer just kind of dry and set for a minute. So I'm going to give this a couple of seconds. I'm going to take the Sigma F86 Kabuki brush and then I'm going to blend everything out. If you need to, you know, you can always go back in with your foundation brush to blend any harsh edges that you may have. Now down here, I'm just going to go ahead and use my foundation brush to blend that in. Now it's time to do some cream contouring. You already know we're using the Black Opal Foundation Stick in Suede Mocha. I've had this for forever, you guys. And look how much product I still have left. Like, I have literally had this forever. So I am going to literally start with this little piece of my ear. I forgot what it's called. Like this little piece of cartilage. And with the edge of the foundation stick, I'm gonna go down just like that. So now it's time to set everything with some powder. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Medium Deep Fit Me Powder. So I've got my little cosmetic sponge here. And I'm just going to press and stamp under the eye. Now this powder is definitely going to give you a little extra coverage. And that's okay. Um, so you want to just make sure that you get a good color for you. Alright, under the eye. And then bring it in so we're going to also set the bottom of the chin and the forehead with our second powder which is the Maybelline shine free powder in the color medium I'm going to get the other side of my sponge and we're going to carve out um, our contour here Okay, so we've carved out the contour and we've set under the eyes and everywhere where we had concealer now we're going to go into the insta fix and matte and i'm going to set everywhere that i have my bronzer so i'm just going to take a powder brush and go into that and then we're just going to set that we don't want to lose that color which is why i'm using a translucent mattifying powder and sometimes when i set it with like other powders it'll still look kind of shiny and it won't really look set you know and I know you're like India but you use a crap ton of pro you use a crap ton of powders yes I did because I know my skin when it wants to it can still get oily so I did still want to use a lot of powders it's just the type of powders that I used I use my really natural powders and I use my powders that once I set them with powders, they just kind of, well, once I set them with setting spray, they just kind of melt into the skin. Let's move on to some contouring. I'm going to be using my Black Radiance True, Com True Complexion Contour Palette. I cannot talk. Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. As you all know, this is one of my absolute favorites. Clearly, I picked pan. I'm going to take a Morphe E4. And I'm going to dive right into that contour shade that is almost no more. And I'm going to contour my cheeks. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of this shade, the Sculpt shade. And I'm going to kind of run that right on top, right between where the eye highlight and the bronzer meet, just to kind of blend them together right there. 
I'm gonna take that same brush I used to do my nose contouring and I'm gonna go into the contour shade. I'm going to contour my nose and eye socket. So I'm gonna start inside of my eye socket like that. I know that's harsh, but bear with me. And then I'm gonna go down the nose like that. So now we're going to set everything with some of this Pixie Glow Mist and some Fix Plus. And that's what brings the life back to the face. Now I'm going to do some highlighting. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Pro Scoping Duo in number two. So I'm going to take my Morphe 501, duck into that highlight, and highlight our existence until we can't do it no more. I love setting my face before I do my highlight. For some reason, it just makes the highlight just literally melt into the skin. I'm also going to just take like a flat but fluffy brush and I'm just going to run it into the bronzer shade up here, this one. And I'm going to pack that on my lids just to have some type of color and shine on the eyes. I think that's a beautiful color as well. So I'm gonna throw on some wing liner and then some lashes and then I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with lashes on and I got some mascara on. I didn't do anything to the bottom lashes. I did just do a uh, wings liner. And now I'm going to do my lips and that will be it. I'm gonna take my Jordana Coffee Bean Lip Liner. Tootsie by ColourPop and put that on the lips. I'm going to complete everything off with some of the Pixie Glow Mist. <laughs> 